So, I was gonna try to think of a clever way to start this video, but I really couldn't come up with that much. So, I'll just point out that I have new hair, which is gonna be something obvious, as you can tell. I mean, like, in this light, it's very orangish, but, like, in another light, it's, like, red on this side, and, like, starts red over here, and then turns, like, orange, and then yellow, and when I spin around, it kind of looks like fire, and someone called me Katniss today because of that, and I'm assuming that's a Hunger Games reference, because I have not read or seen the movie, so uh, I'll just, I'll just take his word for it, Katniss, whatever. Um, but the main thing I wanted to rant about today, I was going to do a rant about the Art Music Factory, but as I went up to the dinner table and was browsing online earlier today, I'm going to be ranting about three things in one. First thing I'm going to rant about is Honey Boo Boo. Second thing I'm going to rant about is the Art Music Factory. Third, Cut for Bieber. So, you think you're getting a three-in-one rant, but really what I'm ranting about altogether are just child stars. And first I'll point out, Honey Boo Boo, am I the only one that feels like really, really bad for this little girl? She's going on TV not even aware of what she's doing. She's six. She's a six-year-old child. She's nowhere close to the age of reason. And her mother is whoring her out to TLC, and she's aware that people are making fun of her daughter, who isn't even old enough to say anything about it. And she's putting her child on, like, reality shows like Toddlers and Tiaras and all that sort of shit. I feel really, really bad for this child. She's going to grow up and see, like, she didn't even know what she was doing, and people were making fun of her for it. I, I, just, I feel so bad for her, because child stars like that usually end up on the pipe. Sorry, sewing needles. Or offing themselves by the time they're fucking 23. And this girl didn't even do anything to deserve it. Yeah, she's a little chunky, but... Hell, it's a growing problem in America, and it's not really her fault. Maybe obesity runs in her family. You've seen her mother. Shit, sorry, I thought someone was coming downstairs. Uh, anyways, where was I, honey boo-boo? Oh, yes. I, I just feel really bad for her. So, I'm not going to watch the show. I'm not going to pay attention to her mother, because that's what she generally wants. Her mother is a sack of shit for whoring out her daughter like that. And uh, just ignore the whole thing. This is not quality entertainment, people. Fuck, Monty Python. Monty Python is quality entertainment. Throw in the Holy Grail every once in a while and have a laugh. But not to this shit, just to make yourself feel better. Just use your brains a little bit, people. And the next thing I was going to rant about is Arc Music Factory, which I just got done with the Guitarist and the Ghoul video about uh, this new song called Skip Rope. And I was going to go off on a little tangent about the place, of mu the place music's in at the end of 2012 going into 2013, but I can already see the same pattern that it's just going to be the same as 2012. There's not much I can do about it until I actually, like, go out, get a record label, get signed and whatnot. So, honestly, I really think the best way to get rid of the Art Music Factory is just to ignore them. If we ignore them, they don't get any money, they can't produce these shitty little kid bands, and it'll do them, those kids, a big favor. They won't have to deal with people saying, like, oh, their song sucks. I mean, yeah, that way they get to, like, learn to deal with criticism, but some people are just cruel. So just... Just ignore the Art Music Factory. They're never going to put out anything good. So why are we giving this shit so much attention anyways? And the third thing I was going to rant about is Cut for Bieber. People are freaking out that Biebs is smoking weed. It's not even a big deal. There are some great figures in music that smoke weed. Fucking Bob Marley. Everyone loves Bob Marley. I mean, some people just wear his shirts so they can fit in with their stoner friends at school, but... I mean, I think he's a great musician. Like, my parents used to love Bob Marley. So, a lot of great people have smoked weed. I mean, yeah, Justin Bieber is a talentless little twat, but, I mean, he has millions of dollars, and 
it's not your life you're dealing with. It's his life. If he enjoys smoking weed, fuck, let him light up a joint. It's not your life. And don't fucking cut yourself over it. I mean, we don't want the guy to feel bad about it. We don't want him to feel bad about the fact that he likes to indulge in weed every now and then. A lot of people do. Fuck, Sebastian Bach smokes weed. I don't care. I still think he's a fucking great musician. I don't smoke weed, but I still listen to bands who were under the influence. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Hell, maybe Bieber will release some release some good stuff. I highly doubt it, but, I mean, come on, guys. It's not your life. If you're going to freak out, that that's my other problem, is they build up, they try to build up the squeaky clean image, and when they do one thing wrong, it spirals all out of control. Yes, that is a marker. I will put that down now. They spiral out of control, and there's almost nothing they can do to stop it, just because the media keeps just breathing down their necks every time. And I feel so bad for those people, like Amanda Bynes, poor Amanda Bynes. I, I thought she was really funny when I was little. I used to watch the Amanda show and all that all the time. And it's so sad that she did that. And Miley Cyrus, I mean, I will agree Miley Cyrus is pretty talentless as it goes, but now people are just calling her a slut. And, like, the more I look at it, I mean, it's just like, why are we even paying her this much attention anyway? I'm just annoyed with the fact that we're giving so many talentless people so much attention, and great artists like Gautier, for example, have only had one mainstream hit, and then people just completely forget his other stuff. I, I hate to sound hipster here, but I was into Gautier way before somebody that I used to know. And come on, let's just start paying attention to the good stuff. I mean, it will require some searching, but fuck, I mean, you will be happy that you search so hard to find this great band. The same thing has happened multiple times to me where I'm just so depressed that music has gotten this way and has gotten has reduced to just this all this pop shit. But then I search a little further and I discover some indie stuff that's really cute and some like more unknown metal bands and I think they sound fantastic. So I'm just trying to turn this frown upside down here. I'm trying to make this work in my favor. Just find something good. It may require searching, but you will not regret it. And as for these child stars go, just, there's nothing we can do about it. Just ignore them. They're not going away, and they really won't go away until we stop giving them attention. I guarantee you, once Honey Boo Boo stops getting so many views, her mom will realize this is not where the money is, and she'll move on to something stupid, probably using her own self instead of whoring out her daughter on TLC. And who knows, maybe Honey Boo Boo might have a completely normal life. Maybe she can actually be happy. That's why I feel so bad for her, is she does not know what she's doing. She does not know the cruel world and the cruel media she's getting herself into. So, I'm just ignoring it. They're not getting my views anytime soon, and I'm just going to leave it at that. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of my little rant. Uh, oh, God, bra strap. Yeah, I'm going to end the video on that note, so uh, bye.